Hey guys, I'm super excited to actually make this video because I never thought we'd get one more balance patch and I assume this one will uh, will go live when, uh, when the next patch hits on the on live servers. For now, we're on the test build and as you can already see, we've got a very new background which honestly doesn't really look that great to me but the best thing about it is that it changes with the background you select. So if, if we're actually going to select a new one, the whole thing's gonna change and oh yeah the new beach background actually looks cool but it looks a little bit too bright so yeah look at that the background changes new cave looks amazing new desert looks cool too new lava cave looks awesome with some lava patches on it too lava mountain some more changes in the, in the detail below in the background the scaly forest looks very cool with these thorny vines and the snowfield actually looks like a mountain now they look amazing Okay, to get to the actual patch notes, let's see what else we got. Okay, let's see. Overhaul the main menu interface. Well, uh, yeah, that's just the new backgrounds. Overhaul the backgrounds with an option to use the old ones. Honestly, I couldn't find the, this option, but I don't think anyone's going to want to use the old ones, I assume. The new beach background. Three new objectives and notes for team names, which are always nice. A secret interaction between two items. Well, it didn't really take too long for the community to find this one out. It basically, <laughs> it's actually a very fun one. It's the interaction between cow and and not milk, but chocolate. If you use chocolate on a cow, you get chocolate milk. And it's actually different than uh, the regular milk. It actually gives plus two, plus one, plus two attack and plus one HP compared to the regular milk, which gives plus one attack and plus two HP. I don't know why this I do this, but hey, it's a cool uh, cool thing to add, so I'm definitely up for it. Also, one more thing. Now faint <laughs> now faint units uh tremble. Or they're, they're, like, they're like scared when you when you select the pill. Okay, let's continue. Change the banner head player so they can unlock achievements. That's nice. A very small punishment, but I think it's uh, I think it's a good idea to add this. I was honestly thinking uh, at some point to just abandon runs just so I can go up against the abandoned head people because they'll probably like mimic around so I could have an easier time winning. <laughs> that was a long time ago when I was new to the game though. Changed in-game pack overview to show what pets are currently unlocked. Honestly, this is a pretty cool visual change to the packs. Let me show you. Look at this. View pack. There you go. They're all neat and organized. Looks nice. You've got you got the achievements thingy too. The food on the right. Yeah, they look pretty nice. And no, they're not gonna be able you're not gonna be able to buy these with snacks. This is just for uh, testing purposes so everyone has access to them. Okay, back to the patch notes. Okay, let's get into the actual balance changes. Buff cockroach ability to send attack to current steel plus one, plus two, or plus three depending on its level. Well, this is definitely a straight up buff because you're usually going to have a level 2 cockroach on tier 2, like on round 3, which is tier 2, so it's going to have 2 attack and plus 2. So yeah, I guess the most attack you can get on a cockroach now is tier 6 plus level 3, which would be 9 attack. Still not incredible, but I guess it makes you able to use the cockroach a little bit more if you want to. It's got good HP and now it's a little bit more viable into mid game, I guess. It's, it's a cool change. Double ability to give plus two plus two. A strawberry change. Mm. I still don't think it's gonna be too incredible. We're still not gonna see them in the weekly pack, so this doesn't really affect a lot of people, I guess. Atlantic Puffin ability to deal two, two, two damage. So it always deals two damage for this strawberry friend to one, two, three random enemies. Okay, this is definitely a big buff to the Puffin, but it always deals two damage, which means it will probably not get kills past like round. Five, six, seven. Nice change. I guess it can pop melons and whatnot. Or peppers. Mm, interesting change. More snipes. I guess it just sucks for the summon teams now, but mm, not even summon teams have this low uh, HP. Buff yield to 5 4. Well, interesting change from 2 HP to 4 HP, I think. This is underwhelming. Basically, just gave it a peach which is uh, which is still a plus three gold buff technically but oh, is it gonna be enough to let you get an eel to good hp before enemies destroy it i don't know so yeah i don't think this makes eel usable now but you never know 
So yeah, I don't think this does buff poly bear ability buff to plus four plus four. So from plus two plus two to plus four plus four. No, from plus three plus three to plus four plus four. Significant buff, but still I think it's still a little bit not enough, I guess. It's still a tier 5. You can't really free stop that late into the game unless you get, I don't know, a round 9 polybag and you get a tier 6 in a shop from a level up and then you decide to freeze that one and you will get like plus 8 plus 8 by round 11. It's not bad, but it's definitely a, a little bit situational now. A fast level 2 polybag can be incredible though. Yeah, you, late game rounds are... Uh, are very 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 important you can't really spend uh, can't really keep your big units in the shop honestly but um, okay i honestly would have just preferred if the polar bear would have gotten uh, knocked down to tier 4 maybe with a small uh, nerf to its ability if the death sword it would have been too much i guess okay we'll see we're definitely gonna give it a try though i think it's uh, an interesting unit still buff provide ability to plus 3 attack so from plus 2 to plus 3 well that's probably not gonna do anything. I guess it works better with the leech now. <laughs> leech Pipania give plus three attack to the whole team. But also, it's kind of still works a little bit better now with Orca into Pipania or Eagle into Pipania. It gives your summon team a little bit more attack, which it definitely needs. So, it's a welcome change. I like it. I like Pipania. I never use it on its own, but it's a nice unit. Nerfed White Tiger ability to give plus VXB. Damn, it's a very big nerf. Basically makes a level 1 level 2 now, and makes a level 2 level 3 now. So, just adds one level to the units, which is nice. Definitely well deserved. Nerfed Stego ability to start a battle, give one random friend without health food, plus 1 plus 1, multiply by turn number. Okay, so you can't just... Well, I honestly, I never thought about this. I just... I was just thinking how to make the stats lower, but honestly, this is a decent nerf. It still makes the stego okay. It, it they, they didn't butcher it. It's still very usable. Melon and lemon no longer usable with stego. Very nice or one up, I guess. Okay, very cool change. Very happy they finally nerfed stego. I was afraid we were never gonna see a nerf to it after the initial patch. But, oh well, it's nice. Changed most ability to start a battle. If this is the lowest tier pet, gain coconut and plus 5 attack. Whoa, a tier 5 moose. Whoa, what a change. Well, I'll be honest. Using the shop with the moose and just getting plus 5, plus 5, or plus 6, plus 6 buffs every every round, even on 2 or 3 pets. It was a little bit crazy. It was definitely one of the best scalers in the game. I am really happy it no longer... Uh, does that but now he gains coconut and except for fellow Gavilla, this is like the third unit that gains coconut and i guess we're probably gonna see some new ones in the new expansion pack as well but wow not a very easy condition because that means you're gonna have you're gonna need to only have tier fives and tier sixes i'm not sure if you're gonna need the most to be like the only tier five in your team or you can go multiple tier fives and tier sixes or you just need to like have one single tier 5 the most and the best of your team tier 6 but actually that uh, that matters a lot because it's not easy to get four tier 6s that will be okay too because you can't replace your team with tier 6s but if you sell your big units to like random tier 6s with no stats and no good abilities the coconut and plus 5 attack is not gonna save you but amazing honestly i think this would have been okay even without the plus 5 attack Okay, interesting. Moose is gonna be one of the best carries in the game now. Actually, late late game carry. Because, <laughs> yeah, you do need to play to get into the deep rounds for you to be able to get only tier 5s and tier 6s to, like, actually work too. So, yeah, interesting change. Makes this Moose uh, a little bit more interesting, I'll be honest. And that's about it for, uh, for this new patch. We've got some bug fixes and... Yeah, that's about it. I feel like the patch. Very, very, very happy. We actually got nerfs to these two units. The buffs are eh, nothing too interesting. But these two nerfs are definitely welcome. And the most change, of course. Amazing patch, honestly. Not that hard, honestly. Not that hard to make these small changes that actually matter a lot. Technically, you can make too many of them because you never know, like, the butterfly effect, the ripple effect, I guess. I definitely think we should get, like, 
maybe a balance patch every two weeks, every every month. Maybe they'll actually use the feedback thingy and they'll make changes based on that every month after the vote resets. Other than that, thank you guys for tuning in. I, uh, I hope you guys are excited for this as I am. I'm definitely going to be playing the, the test patch from now on for a, at least for a couple of days to see how these uh, new units feel now. Also with the new backgrounds and stuff. Amazing. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Much love. Bye.